Today, have I got something game-changing to share with you, a secret that can seriously amp up your performance in Forza Motorsport. Welcome back to the channel, let's get into it. But before we dive into the details, let me take you back to a real-life racing moment. That perfectly sets the stage for what we're about to discuss. In this real-world racing example, imagine the year is 2005 and Formula One is at Indianapolis. The track had been resurfaced and Michelin, one of the two tyre suppliers, advised teams to run higher pressures due to concerns about the bank turn. Long story short, teams struggled with these higher pressures to remain competitive and it was causing accidents and safety worries. The Michelin equipped teams had to withdraw, leaving only six cars with Bridgestone tyres on the grid. It was a controversial race that emphasised the critical role of tyre pressures in racing. I know it's a little long, but I haven't edited it so you can see. All I change is tyre pressures. Here we are going to be challenging the norm in Forza Motorsport. First we are going to run a couple of laps with our tyre pressure set to 32 psi. And keep an eye on the lap times here, the difference is amazing. H. We often hear the recommended tyre pressure around 32, 2, 34 psi. However, after some serious testing and tweaking, I'm going to share a strategy that goes against the grain. Watch these first laps at 32 psi. The line is on to show you I'm trying to be consistent. We will skip the out laps. Segment 4 Historical Racing Strategies it's, With the tyre pressure high, it makes the car understeer and it feels slower to respond to inputs. I can improve. So for fairness, I hit a couple more laps.
After a couple more goes, my best attempt was 137.4. Now we are going to drop the pressures to 22 psi. You may think this is too low, but watch what happens. that running my tires at a low pressure, like 22 psi, significantly improved my lap times. Watch the next lap, straight away there's big improvements. I assure you that all I have changed is tire pressures. Straight away the difference is unbelievable. It brakes better, it handles and responds better. You feel a lot more control and purpose to the car. The extra turn in and over steer is coming just from dropping the tyre pressures and the results are mind blowing. With the tyres at 32 psi, the subtle understeer you get is hard to feel, so you don't realise just how much time you're losing. That's a whopping 2.3 seconds faster. With a mistake at the end of that lap, I'll run a couple of laps now with the telemetry on so you can see there's no difference apart from tire pressures. You should know that throughout racing history, no team has been accused of running their tires too high or hard. However, many successful teams have, at one point or another, experimented with low tire pressures for a competitive edge. Today, I'm unveiling my findings to you. Here is a couple of laps with the telemetry on. I will put it on in a mo. I just didn't want to crop the video so you could see for yourselves.
conclusion, so there you have it, a little known secret that can make a massive difference in your force and motorsport performance. If you're running your pressures at 30 plus PSI, you need to drop them now and the time will fall off too. I encourage you to experiment with your tire pressures and find what works best for your driving style. This next lap puts me 106 on the leaderboard and I could go faster. If you found this insight valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more racing tips and tricks. Until next time, happy racing. Remember hit the thumbs up if you want the next section of this tuning guide. Also remember I used this on Ohio because of how demanding this track is on new tires, so the Delta May will change for different tracks. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with these last couple of laps. Please leave a comment, tell me what you need help with or what your best car is. Enjoy some of my other clips. Thanks again. Hey, remember you paint for show and tune for dough.